Over 3 million Canadians are affected by diabetes and the disease costs the health care system $12 billion a year. With a B, it's going to rise to $16 billion mm -hmm. by 2020. That's a lot of cash. Health yeah. specialist Leah Serich here now with, uh, in advance of World Diabetes Day tomorrow, with how simple, small changes can make a huge difference. Huge difference. So first of all, let's think about this for a second. Yeah. The doctors are telling me now that it will not be long before 1 in 10 Canadians has diabetes. 10%. That's right. Yeah, one in ten. The incidence has doubled in the past ten years. So it's increasing dramatically. So of course there are two kinds. There's type one where the body just stops producing insulin. Type two, which is the much more common kind, is when the body's still producing insulin, but it's not using it effectively because people are overweight or obese. So that's the kind we're sort of focusing on. And then what happens is, is you get blood sugars that are too high and they require medication and insulins to get those blood sugars under control. Now most of us know, as you mm -hmm. and I were talking in the break, people need to lose weight and exercise more. But these are hard things to do in our society. And so I was speaking with a diabetes expert, Dr. David Lau from the UFC, and he says, you know, sometimes it's helpful to realize that even a small amount of weight loss can make a huge difference. If we can get people to lose just two pounds a year, and if they can do that every year for four years, uh, clinical trial data have shown very clearly that they can reduce the risk for diabetes by as much as 60%. So you're talking about a huge bang for the buck, that's more than half of the cases could be prevented. That's right. That's two right. Two pounds a year Just for four years. Just two pounds a year for four years. Wow. So you want to keep the weight off. Yeah. That's what we're dealing with here. So you want to keep that weight off. And one helpful way to lose that weight, says Dr. Lau, is to eat three square meals a day. Sure. He says in his clinic, you know, I picked, they have clients that come in and says, well, I didn't eat anything today. You know, I just came home and had one meal a day. But then, you know, you're overcompensating because you're starving by the time you get home. So the focus this year, particularly from the International Diabetes Foundation, is to get off to the right start. Mm -hmm. So they're really focusing on having a healthy breakfast every day which is a great place to start so that can help prevent diabetes because it's going to help manage your hunger and your food intake throughout the course of the day it's also great if you already have diabetes to manage your blood sugars throughout the day that healthy breakfast a great place to start dr. Lau also says as a community we need to create an environment where we're making these healthy choices easier for people because of course there are many reasons why people overeat there are many reasons why people choose not to exercise mm -hmm. so we have to make those choices easier as a population Dr. Lau also wants people to be aware that diabetes is an incredibly serious disease that leads to devastating complications if those sugars remain out of control. Diabetes is the leading cause of blindness, the leading cause of kidney failure requiring transplantation or kidney dialysis, and it's also a leading cause of nerve damage and neuropathy. Um, in addition, diabetes doubles, if not triples, the risk for heart attacks and strokes. So diabetes is a very serious disease. Those are very serious no complications, kidding. absolutely. And it's these complications of diabetes that are driving health care costs right through the roof. In fact, the complications account for 80% of the diabetes wow. costs, 80% of those costs. So really, it's about preventing that disease before we even get there. And tomorrow is World Diabetes Day. Absolutely, which is why we're talking about it today. So <laughs> World Diabetes Day tomorrow. But locally, there's also a Diabetes Awareness Day. It's at the University of Calgary on Saturday, November 22nd. You can see it there on your screen. Lots of diabetes experts will be there talking about the latest research and managing the disease. Also, the Canadian Diabetes Association will be holding their expo at exactly the same time. And the best part is that it's free. So Yay. you can just go there for free. You can even park for free. You can even so check it out. There you go. Just, just uh, check it just out. Just a little FYI. Exactly. Uh, all this information is going to be on, on your blog. On my blog, right? you bet. Good stuff. Breakfasttelevision.ca. That's where you can find Leah's blog.